Happy New Year's, everybody. I'm sorry about that whole eggnog rant. <laughs> Today is January 1st, New Year's Day. I am Julia and welcome to the January Challenge. How was your New Year's Eve? And how are you feeling today? <laughs> you either had a chill, restful night or the opposite. And either one, today's class will be perfect for. <laughs> today's class is a detox flow because some of you might need it. <laughs> We're just going to move and sweat a little bit and have a good time. Meet me on the mat. All you'll need is your body. <laughs> All right, New Year's babies, beginning today in a nice child's pose because some of you will need it. <laughs> keeping your knees together or coming wide right away. Always the option to use a pillow under your bum or under your belly to create a little bit more space. And we're gonna walk those fingertips forward, releasing your forehead to the earth. Close your eyes and start taking nice deep breaths in here. Today is a breath guided class, so we're gonna get a nice quality of breath going right away. Nice and slow. The belly expands as you inhale and it draws in as you exhale. Go ahead and exhale through the mouth for these first few breaths of, of the class. Get out all those toxins <laughs> if you had some beverages last night. One more round of breathing. Inhale through the nose for one, two, three, Big exhale through the mouth. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Wherever you are, let's go ahead and open those knees to mat width. Coming up nice and light onto the fingertips, we walk them over to the left side. And release forehead to the earth, getting right into that left hip flexor. Nice, inhale, we come light on the fingertips, walking them all the way over to the right and releasing forehead to the mat. Coming into the right hip flexor now, nice and gentle, just slowly waking up the body. On this beautiful day of January 1st, it's also my Nono's birthday today. Happy birthday, Nono in heaven. I love you so much. <laughs> Next inhale, we come nice and light. Walking those fingertips back to center. Bring those knees into hip width. We're gonna come into a little puppy pose, stretching out those shoulders. So our chest releases to the earth, forehead releases to the mat, and our arms are extended in front of us. Hips and bum remain up in the air. This should feel really nice through the shoulders. And feel free to walk those fingertips forward or even come up onto the fingertips for a little bit more depth of the stretch. Coming back to your nice deep breaths. Next inhale, we shift our weight forward to all fours. Go ahead and grow that tailbone back, heart opens forward. And exhale, tailbone tucks, chin towards the chest. Inhale, tail back, heart forward. Exhale, tail tucks, chin to chest. Tucking those toes, our hips come up and over, right away coming into down dog. And we're going to start to walk it out right away, getting into those calves and getting into those hamstrings. Release your neck, spread your fingers, grow long through the arms. And when you come to meet in a static dog, little bend in those knees. We grow up and out through the legs and our hips tilt up towards the sky. Inhale, plank. Exhale, up and over dog. Inhale, plank. Weight comes over past the hands. 
Exhale, up and over dog. You can move around kind of on your tippy toes here, whatever way feels good for you. Inhale, plank, last one. Exhale, knees to the mat. We lower, elbows stay drawn in for five, four, all the air out nice and slow. Three, two, and one. Sliding down, <laughs> pressing the tops of the feet into the earth. Hands, palms are pressing into the mat under our shoulders. Forehead releases to the mat. Let's exhale together. Inhale, heart peels forward. Cobra. Feel like you're growing forward and you're growing out longer through those toes. Exhale, release. Option to float palms above the mat just an inch. Inhale, cobra. Remember, length. Exhale, release. Option to extend arms in front of us. Lift those toes up. We inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift. Shalabhasana. Inhale, let's grow even more through those fingertips and through those toes. Length over height here. Gaze is forward but down. Neck is nice and neutral in line with the spine. Grow a little bit more. Exhale, release it all. Left knee bends, catching the toes, coming into a little quad stretch. Always feels good. Feel free to close down your eyes. And switching over to the right side. Your cheek switches sides as well. Gently release the leg. Let's inhale together. Plant the palms, tuck the toes. Exhale, nice strong push up and over through plank to down dog. Beautiful, we're coming into some leg lifts. Little bend in those knees. Exhale to ground up. Inhale, right toes float to the sky, hips stay square. Exhale, we tap. Let the breath lead the movement. We begin the inhale. Leg follows. Exhale, release. I'm sliding. <laughs> I'm already getting warm and sweaty. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, let's externally rotate that right leg so the hip opens. Try to keep the right shoulder down in line with the left. And we bend that knee. It comes out and around. Try to get it as high as the right armpit and then up to that nose, planting down. High lunge. Inhale, arms up. <laughs> left hip draws back, right hip draws forward. Ribs come towards each other. Coming out of any back bend. Connecting the palms, we grow. Expanding through the spine. Little back bend. And we plant that back foot down. Warrior two, nice deep bend in the front knee. So if you need to walk those toes forward a little bit, feel free to do so. The knee shouldn't come past the ankle. Holding here, we inhale. Exhale, ground down. Inhale, flip that front palm up and over, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, right arm to the thigh, left arm to the sky, extended side angle. Option to lower that, those right fingertips to the earth if that feels comfortable. And the top arm can also reach up and over. Let's take an inhale here, expanding in all directions. Exhale, pulls you back up. Warrior two, we reverse. Inhale, coming up. We straighten, and straighten, and straighten that front leg. Float up nice and light. Exhale, reach, reach, reach with those fingertips. Inhale, triangle. Bottom arm rests very lightly on that shin or you just place it in front. Our legs and our core are really holding us up here. Top fingertips reach towards the sky. Heart opens and peels up to the ceiling. And we smile, it's New Year's Day. 
Let's inhale, we expand up through those fingertips. Option to reach up and over. Exhale, core lifts us back up. We reverse. Inhale, back toes turn and high lunge. Exhale, we reach forward, forward, forward with those fingertips coming nice and light onto the back toes. We're pulling with the fingertips so much so that our next inhale, our back toes float off the earth, warrior three. Little bend in the supporting leg. Draw the left hip down to be in line with the right. Growing out through the fingertips, out through the back toes. And remembering to breathe. <laughs> next inhale, expand in both directions. Exhale, very gently with control, tap down. Inhale, high lunge, connect the palms, little back bend. Up and over, always up first, and then over. Exhale, palms ground down. Inhale, lunge twist, right arm to sky. Exhale, option to stay, or we roll over the outer edge of the left foot. Side plank. <laughs> Inhale, we grow up through those fingertips, up and over. Exhale, plank through chaturanga. Knees can be up or down, you guys. Take your pick. All the air out. Inhale, cobra or up dog, heart opens. Exhale, up and over, down dog. That's our flow. <laughs> Catch your breath here, that was fun. Just get the body moving, get it open on this beautiful day. Think of one thing you're grateful for today. Start the new year off with some gratitude. I am grateful to be visiting my sister. I'm in the air right now. If you're watching this on January 1st, I'm in the air on a plane, flying to Australia to spend time with my sister. And of course, my daughter, Cece, who's a bunny. <laughs> All right, you guys, on to the other side. But first, what was your gratitude? Say it out loud. And let's see if I can remember the flow. <laughs> Exhale, we ground down, a little bend in those knees, tail tilts to the sky. Inhale, left toes float. Exhale, release. Inhale, float. Exhale, release. Inhale, they float. Exhale, we open that hip, externally rotate the left leg. Knee bends with control. The knee comes out and across all the way up to that left armpit. Then the nose, planting down, high lunge. <laughs> We connect the palms, we grow up and over, tiny back bends, left it back, right hip forward. Inhale to expand. Exhale, plant down that back heel, warrior two, walking the front toes up just a little bit if you need. Remember that front knee does not pass the ankle, so it doesn't pass it like that. It's stacked right above. And we're getting a nice deep bend in that knee to really challenge our legs. We're growing with the arms in both directions. And we're nice and strong, nice and light, growing up and out through that spine. Inhale, let's flip that front palm up and over, reverse, keeping a deep bend in the front knee. Exhale, front arm to the front thigh, right arm to the sky, extended side angle. Option to lower that front arm to the earth. Make sure that back hip is allowed to roll in. We're opening only with our body, okay? We don't want to crank the hips or do any damage to the sacroiliac joint. Inhale to expand. Option to reach up and over with that top arm. Exhale, the torso lifts back up. And I believe we did a little reverse, so that's how we'll do it again. 
And if we didn't, we're just doing it. Inhale, coming up, that front leg straightens, nice and light through the legs, up through the body. Exhale, we reach, reach, reach until you can't reach anymore. Inhale, triangle. Top arm to sky, front, arm, front hand, either very lightly resting on that shin, so you should be able to lift it off at any time, or it's just facing forward, palm first in front of the calf. Let's exhale to ground down. Inhale, we expand through the top arm option to reach up and over. Exhale to pull us back up. Top arm reaches up and over. Reverse. Inhale. Back toes pivot in, arms up, high lunge. Exhale, we reach forward, 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 weight shifts over the front foot. We come super light onto those back toes. Inhale, back toes float up. Warrior three, I'm gonna hop down because I'm not sure how in frame I am. <laughs> Again, let's draw that right hip down so it's nice and square with the left. We're reaching through those fingertips. We're pulling back through that toe. Our neck is in a nice neutral line with the spine. Little bend in the supporting leg. Next inhale, let's grow in all directions. Exhale with control. See, just how slow you can lower the leg, we tap down. High lunge. <laughs> And let's reach up and over. Exhale, we plant the hands down. Inhale, left hand to sky, lunge twist. Exhale, option to stay or we rotate onto the outer edge of the right foot, stepping the left foot back, plank. Inhale, we expand, get that right hip up, get that waist up. Exhale, we hold. Inhale, top arm reaches up and over. And all the air out. Plank through chaturanga, knees up or down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, up and over, down dog. I feel pretty amazing. I hope you do too. Catch your breath. I'm always so out of breath for moving and talking. <laughs> it's quite the combination. And uh, take any final movements in dog before gently releasing knees to the earth, coming into a little rest in child's pose before we cool down. I love hugging my knees and just gently rocking side to side. Come back to the slow quality of breath that we talked about at the beginning of class. Let's exhale together to unite. Inhale through the nose for one, two, three. Pause at the top of the breath. Nice and full of air. Exhale through the mouth for three, two, one, pause at the bottom of the breath, nice and empty. And let's carry on with that breathing through our cool down. So we'll come into a little half center split stretch because that's what my body just made me do. <laughs> Bending the left leg, extending the right. We inhale arms to the sky and the hands come behind the head. Exhale, let's ground down through that right sit bone as much as possible. Inhale, right arm reaches up and over, left elbow draws back. We're reaching, reaching, reaching till you get to the point where you really feel it through that left side body. Then gently release your hand and wherever that may release to. It may release to your thigh, it may release to your shin, it may release to your foot. Wherever you are is honestly perfect. <laughs> it's kind of a cheesy yoga line, but it's so true and it applies to movement and also to life. So take it or leave it, guys. <laughs> but I would recommend you to take it. 
and you can release that top hand down to your left leg, closing down the eyes if you haven't already. Next inhale, see if you can grow longer through the spine at the top of the head. Exhale, melt a little bit deeper into that fold. And inhale, we come back up. Let's switch to the other side. The right knee bends, left leg extends. Inhale, arms come up and behind the head. Exhale, we ground down through the left sit bone. Inhale, right left fingertips, sorry, reach up and over. The right elbow draws back. And we reach, reach, reach. And gently land wherever that may be. Option two, release the top arm to the right leg. Again, closing down the eyes, we're cooling down now. Next inhale, see if you can lengthen through the spine, out the neck, out the top of the head, and exhale, fold a little bit deeper. Release any holding in the muscles, just let yourself go. Inhale, we're coming back up. Let's gently bring that extended leg in and we're just gonna windshield wipe our side to side. Coming into a couple of seated twists. Let's keep that left knee bent. We cross the right foot over top. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, we ground down. Inhale, we expand, gaze lifts. Exhale, we twist to the right. Gaze releases towards the right shoulder. Your left hand catches your top leg wherever it feels comfortable. And as you pull that leg, that bent knee towards your body, you'll feel a little glute stretch as well as the benefit of our twist. Always twisting to the right first to support our digestive system. Closing the eyes, I'd like you to think of one word that comes to mind of how you would like to feel today. Can be a feeling, can be anything. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it would be a feeling. <laughs> Don't listen to me, I'm not even hungover. Well, I did have some vegan Spiced, or I guess normal eggnog last night, and I don't drink a lot, so I am a little bit off my game. <laughs> Hence the lack of English language skills in that last statement. <laughs> and I'm going to stop now. <laughs> we gently release. Coming to the other side. I'm sorry about that whole eggnog rant. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Inhale together, arms to the sky. Exhale, we ground down. Close the eyes. Inhale, we grow up and out through those arms. We are floating, we're like a light little feather. Exhale, we open and twist towards the left. Coming back to that feeling, <laughs> what is one thing you can do today to help you achieve it? Just, uh, you know, it's not like a new big New Year's resolution, that's the word. Just a little, how do you want to feel and what's one tiny thing that can help you feel closer to that feeling. <laughs> feelings, feelings, feelings. Good thing the class is over, huh? <laughs> Next inhale, we lengthen through the spine once more. Feel like you're growing up and out, getting taller. And as you exhale, you release deeper into the twist. Gently draw that top leg towards your body and you'll feel the stretch intensify in the left glute. And if you feel, feel ready, unwinding, let's finish with a little forward fold. 
We scoot our bum back if you have a pillow or a folded up blanket or block. You can sit on the edge of that for a little bit more room. Otherwise, coming with me, nice and tall, feet are flexed, baby toes draw back, a little bend in those knees. Inhale, arms up. And we reach up and over. We hinge from the hips. Forward fold, neck is the last thing to release. We're making some connection with our low belly and our upper thigh. That's why we have the little bend in our knees and that is to protect our low back. If you've done my videos, I say it every class. Because I feel like before I started teaching yoga and did my training, I didn't know that. <laughs> and I definitely hurt my low back a lot. So I feel like we have to be repetitive <laughs> sometimes. Next inhale, we lengthen. Option to walk those heels out a little bit if you can still keep that connection. If it's first thing in the morning like it is for me, you might be a little bit more tight. Again, wherever you are, don't worry about how it looks, just worry about how it feels. And we grow and release a little bit deeper. We gently roll up, bending those knees. Let's finish in a seated position. Closing the eyes, we'll just come back to two more rounds of that nice, deep breathing. What is my outfit doing? It's okay. <laughs> Palms up to receive energy from this beautiful day, January 1st. Let's inhale, shoulders come up, back, and down. And we release any tension between the eyebrows. Feel like your eyes are rolling away from each other. Energy is dripping down the temples. Release the jaw if it is clenched. Lips gently apart. Release your belly if you're holding it in any way. When we inhale, the belly expands, it grows out. Exhale, belly draws in. Inhale, maybe you smile a little bit. Exhale, we release. Coming back to the way that you would love to feel. Know that you can feel that way any day you want, any moment you want. And know that the more challenging feelings are also so okay. This is just a part of life. We're cute little humans running around. We're little spirits on this earth. And we just have to remember to enjoy it all. We're never alone. And it's gonna be an amazing year. <laughs> Gently blink open your eyes now that I ruined your relaxation with my squeaking and have the most amazing day, you guys. Thank you for joining me, day one done, and I will see you tomorrow for day two. I can't wait. Happy New Year's. <laughs>